to Baker Street Dark Coasters Live. So, today we are on about a theme park, of course, Alton Towers. However, however, it's not about Nemesis. It's not about Hex. Yet again, I haven't done the Hex thing yet, so get this. Shh. Um, it's not about the monorail. It's not about the Sky Ride. In fact, it's about a, this 26-year-old roller coaster, Oblivion. Um, but it marks today, 26. My, my watch doesn't work. Um, the 14th of the 3rd, 2024. So today, Oblivion open to the public and 26 years ago and um, 26 years down the line that is quite quite a long time not not as long as nemesis but it's quite a long time now the fact that we see nemesis and how nemesis is getting redone at the year of 30 that really does bring some big speculation of how and why and what this roller coaster will come in the future however that's not why we're here not yet anyways we are on about the past 26 years of Oblivion. Now, if I load up the Oblivion campaigning, which I have shown like 15 million times, actually, why not? Um, we will see how it was trailered and, you know, told to come out as. This is not, I didn't want James Bond's film Oblivion. Um, I don't know if that was cool, no. Here it is. Oh, that is me, hello. So, sorry. As we know, that yes, the f world's first nearly vertical drop roller coaster because they never actually tell you it's not ninety degrees. Um, so yes, Oblivion is not ninety degrees. So don't be fooled. That is the first ever vertical drop roller coaster because it was not. Anyways, so in the marks of that, twenty six years ago, it was advertised. As, yeah, again, I'm going to say it again, Oblivion, the world's first vertical drop roller coaster, um, and it's had a very not troubled because it's been quite cool, but it's had a very weird past. Presumably it's had marketing campaigns and uh, IPs from Fanta and... Was it Fanta? I think it was Fanta. We've um, had the Smiler logo, some really rubbish advertising from Fanta. Of it, which it was that bad, people had to take it down. Well, people were told... People told Alton Towers to take it down. However, Oblivion is one of those weird roller coasters. And yet again, it has had a trouble history with the nearby neighbours who have complained and made multiple complaints about the Alton Towers Resort and how their noise complaints and their light complaints are a bit too much. Yet again, I would love to live next to a theme park. Why wouldn't you? Um, so, Oblivion near... So, as it says here on Wikipedia, it does say Oblivion near vertical drop roller coaster because it is a near vertical drop. It is not what they said it was, a vertical drop roller coaster. However, as it says here... Um, so on its opening, it had appearances on a Blue Peter, the Cornflex advert, and even the deodorant. Uh, uh, it had its own deodorant prior to its own. Wait, wait, what? Am I reading this correct? It, Oblivion had its own brand. It had its own deodorant brand. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so it does live in the area of X Sector and is still there today. However, what's find it really weird and what many of you would be questioning is it opened this day. When Alton Towers has opened this day. Um, that is only because low many years ago um, they used to open, I think it was all year round or something like that, we used to open really really early because they didn't have many rides to operate and they didn't have winter maintenance and they didn't have um, they didn't have stuff like health and safety but now they have health and safety so their winter maintenance needs to be carried out or you, you know you'll have oblivion and it won't stop at the top however it does not even stop at the top anymore due to what i was saying earlier with the neighbors now the neighbors were the very complaining ones and like i said if i if next to alton towers i would absolutely love it um but i don't um but yeah so the neighbors were complaining we've had many lawsuits against alton towers and one lawsuit about oblivion did get passed let's just say um the words don't look down really didn't appeal to anyone anymore only because it used to say at the top so oblivion goes up it goes round and then it used to stop it used to stop there for quite a long time and it said the words don't look down but because it was that loud according to the neighbors um they had to get rid of it which was really sad 
and then it went on to um, the lights being dimmed. It's so it was really cool. Anyways, um, so the whole theming around Oblivion is to do with a government facility. However, when so it lied in the place where uh, Black Hole, Energizer, and Enterprise used to be. No longer any of those three wires are there, apart from Oblivion. So Oblivion is the oldest ride in the park at the moment. Well, oldest ride in the second oldest ride. Second majest oldest ride. Um, but anyways, yes, it lives in the park. It lives in X-Sector and it is the oldest ride in X-Sector. However, that does make us consider what could be the future of this Oblivion ride. <laughs> Whether I call it Oblivion ride, I don't know. Um, so, Oblivion, as we... Hello, hello. So, as we know, Oblivion, it stops at the top. It's quite cool. It goes underground, as we know. Um, it is featured... Are you in Cavalry World? No, I am not in Cavalry World. Voila, even though these curtains are very purple. Um, so, yeah, this 12 million ride, this 12 million pound ride, um, really does sit at the heart of everyone's heart because you know Alton Towers is known for oblivion at the moment presuming Nemesis is like not new because it's no longer 30 years old Smiler is a bit old but yet again it brings a load of people in the park you think of Alton Towers you think Smiler but we're not on about Smiler we're on about oblivion of course um, so oblivion in the future now presuming its own um, tunnel is being dug out and then being re-themed and we dug but why uh, I don't know um, it's been dug out and then it's been, you know, piled on and the queue line is now the dirt which has been dug out from the ground where Oblivion is. So basically, the ground that was took out from Oblivion to make the, uh, the hole it goes underneath is now mounted up on the queue line. So as you go up, you'll find yourself going up really, really high because, well, of underground dirt. Um, but that's why it's so rocky and it's not even. Which, again, is quite a good thing of using the land instead of, you know, just crumbling the land and never seeing it ever again. Um, however, they did dig that out. They did dig that out with dynamite, which was pretty bad, like they also did. <laughs> like they also did with Nemesis. I wonder what they'll do this time. Definitely no, di no dynamite today. Hello, hello. Um, however, however, so the future of Oblivion. So, firstly, as we know, we've got Nemesis and Nemesis 30. Now, four years, four years. Maybe on into the future, we may see Oblivion get a refeed. Yes, again, they still have issues with tree heights because, as we know, Alton Towers can't go past a tree height, so it's nothing like Fort Park, and that's literally the only park in the UK which I think has a tree light li height limit to do with Merlin anyways. Um, and Oblivion just sits there and it's like, great, there is a tree, and if it got knocked down and got replaced, they will no longer be able to build that high. So... They have to keep Oblivion as the height it is, or they have to shorten the height, which was pretty sad. Um, but yeah, when Oblivion was built, they, they built it in the tree line, and now they've got a tree line limit. No longer the tree that was the tallest in the area that normally hid Oblivion, they, they no longer do it. Um, but anyways, anyways, so, the future, the future of Oblivion. Now, could it be still a black hole facility? Could it have something to do with the retro squad? Could that have something to do with the Ministry of Joy? Yeah, again, it would be pretty cool if it had to, to do with the Ministry of Joy. Like, a little bit of a re-theme, I'm not sure, but if they do remove the ride, they will have to remove it permanently. Only the fact that, like I said, the true height limit. Um, <laughs> you got Energizer and Enterprise, which used to be fair. Could it be re-themed, or could it be have their names? Like, <laughs> it would be pretty cool. You know, just going down the vertical drop. <laughs> but, uh, lack of energy, you want Energizer. <laughs> Um, that would be pretty cool. But yet again, we can't... I am not in Cadbury World. Actually, where's my Cadbury... Oh, don't have my Cadbury hat. Um, but yeah, so the future of Oblivion looks kind of cool. Will it stay the government facility, or will it become a Ministry of Joy, or will it just get dismantled completely and we'll never see it ever again? We will not We will not know until four years, or five, or whenever they want to re it. I mean, at the moment, we're still having issues with a Nemesis and that getting reopened. Um, is your favourite teacher dot uh, what? Who's that? Um, anyways, I am going to go now. <laughs> These questions are weird. Um, so yes, one thing you guys think, where do you think Oblivion will stand in the next four years? And what do you think of its history? Do you like the ride? Do you not? Yes, I go north. Anyways, bye guys. Smile always.